can AI code a Minecraft update? So I've used ChatGPT to code Minecraft from scratch before, and here's how that turned out. Overall, by just using code created by ChatGPT, I was able to make a Minecraft remake in Unity that had a player movement system, a terrain generation system, and a building system. But I wanted to see what else ChatGPT could do. I wanted to see if ChatGPT could code an entire Minecraft update. We were going to use ChatGPT to remake Minecraft, then add different new features to the game to create a Minecraft update. But here's the thing, I cannot change any of the code that ChatGPT gives me. So let's see if ChatGPT can code a Minecraft update. To get started, we were going to get ChatGPT to remake Minecraft. Now, I've already had ChatGPT remake Minecraft in our original video, but I wanted to see if ChatGPT could code Minecraft more effectively. I started by asking ChatGPT how to make a blocky terrain like in Minecraft. ChatGPT gave me a bunch of steps to create a blocky terrain, so I followed that by starting a new project and importing some textures for our terrain. ChatGPT then told me to create a block prefab by creating a cube and applying our textures as the material for the cube. I was then given a script for a block generation system, which I copied over to our Unity project. I was also given a script for a chunk generation system, which I also copied over to our Unity project. I also asked ChatGPT to create a script for a player movement system and this was the script that ChatGPT created. I imported this into our Unity project, and here's what we had so far. As you can see, this was basically Minecraft. We had a terrain generation system, a chunk generation system, and a player movement system. The only thing we had to add was a building system, so I asked ChatGPT to create a script for a Minecraft-style block breaking and placing system. This was the script that ChatGPT created, and here's how it turned out. We now had a working building system, and there we go. We pretty much had a Minecraft remake with only a few scripts. So now that we had a working Minecraft remake with a world generation system, a player movement system, and a building system, System, it was time to create our Minecraft update. Minecraft updates typically include three major things, new items, new biomes, and new mobs. So this is what we were going to include in our Minecraft update, starting with a new Minecraft mob. I asked ChatGPT for an idea for a new Minecraft mob, and here's what I received. Quartz Golem. The Quartz Golem is a towering mob with a body made entirely of quartz. Its form is angular and geometric with sharp edges. ChatGPT also explained that the Quartz Golem has two states, neutral and defensive. The Quartz Golem will act neutral unless you attack it, then it'll get you back. ChatGPT also gave a few abilities for the Quartz Golem to have, including an energy blast that damages and knocks back the player, and a ground slam that creates a shockwave which damages the player. ChatGPT also gave a bunch of other information about this mob, including what items it drops, but since our game only had grass, dirt and stone, we weren't going to add any item drops. Now, here's where things get interesting. Instead of creating a 3D model for this Quartz Golem myself, I was going to have AI generate me a 3D model for the game. And that's where our sponsor of this video comes in, Charmed. Charmed AI is a platform for making 3D art, and it is insanely useful for game developers. Charmed helps game developers take an idea to a playable prototype really quickly. Let me explain how it works. Basically, Charmed has a geometry generator, a texture generator, and a 3D animator. For the geometry generator, you just type in a prompt and it'll generate that prompt as a 3D model. So if you were creating something like an enemy for your game, you would type in a description of that enemy, click preview, it would generate a few previews of that prompt, then you can generate that preview as a 3D model. Charmed makes it really easy to quickly generate a large number of assets so users can iterate to their specific version. The texture generator is cool as well. You can literally update textures of 3D models using text description. Just import your model, describe your texture, preview and generate. And then the 3D animator. That's pretty straightforward as well. Bring in your model and Charmed will automatically rig and animate it. Charmed is so easy to use that you don't need to know any 3D modeling to get good results. If you want to try Charmed for free, you could do so using my link in the description. So thanks to Charmed for sponsoring this video and now let's use it to generate our Minecraft mob. I went to the geometry generator on Charmed and copied over how ChatGPT explained the quartz golem. After that, I imported the 3D model into Unity 
and it was time for ChatGPT to create us an enemy AI system. So our enemy AI system was pretty straightforward. I wanted an enemy that would obviously do things like ChatGPT explained the Quartz Golem could do, such as shooting energy blasts and doing ground slams. But before we got onto any of this, we needed to implement a basic movement system. Now, the tricky thing is, I needed a movement system for the enemy that would allow the enemy to move around the game world. I would also need the enemy to determine whether or not there were any blocks next to them to prevent them from falling off the world. So I asked ChatGPT to make me a movement system for my enemy in Unity, and ChatGPT created this huge enemy movement code that was supposed to do a bunch of different things. It was honestly some impressive code, so let's see how it went in game. So I think here's an important thing with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is great at creating code, but it's not always easy to implement this code into the game, as there would be many other factors required for this specific enemy movement system code to work correctly. However, since I'm not allowed to change any of this code for the challenge of the video, we need to work backwards to get a working enemy movement system. I started by asking ChatGPT for an enemy movement system script, but didn't explain any of the mechanics our game already had. ChatGPT generated this script, which basically had a simple enemy movement system where the enemy would move to towards the player. And now we had this. I then asked ChatGPT to add it so the enemy was aware of objects in the game. And now we had this. Now, the last thing we had to do for our enemy movement system script was make it so the enemy would just roam around the map. So I asked ChatGPT to make it so the enemy just roams around the map. And this happened. Now, here's the thing. I could absolutely keep generating different scripts until we get the perfect enemy movement system for our game, but I think this was good enough and it was time to make the attack system, along with some energy blasts and ground slams. Now, as ChatGPT mentioned before, the Quartz Golem has a neutral state, which is the default state, and a defensive state, where if the player attacks the Quartz Golem, it'll attack the player back. However, we didn't have an attack mechanic for the player in our game, so let's quickly add that, along with another update for our game, a new Minecraft weapon. I asked ChatGPT for a new idea of a Minecraft weapon, and here's what I received. Gravity Sword. Basically, the Gravity Sword was a melee weapon that would allow the player to change gravity around them. When the weapon is used, it temporarily increases gravity for enemies within its radius. That sounds good, let's add it to our game. Firstly, we had to generate a 3D model using Charmed. So I went to the geometry generator on Charmed and copied over how ChatGPT explained the Gravity Sword. After that, I imported the 3D model into Unity and attached it to our player. And here's what we had. Now, it was time to ask ChatGPT to code game mechanics for the Gravity Sword. ChatGPT provided me with a script for the player, which is the script for the main Gravity Sword mechanics. I also received a script for the enemy, which changes the gravity for the enemy. And here's how our Gravity Sword works in game. Anyway, now that I've given our player a weapon, it was time to continue working on the enemy mechanics. Now, the first mechanic we were going to add was the attack mechanic, where if the player attacks the enemy, the enemy will attack the player back. But since our weapon was a gravity sword, and there was no way for the enemy to actually attack the player in response to a direct melee attack from the player, we'll just move on to the next mechanic, which does actually work well. It's the ground slam. So with our gravity sword, once an enemy is attacked, it'll fall back down after about three seconds. So all we had to do was implement a ground slam into this. I asked ChatGPT to program a ground slam into our enemy gravity sword script from before, and here's what we received. Basically, once the enemy lands back on the ground after being attacked with the gravity sword, if the player is in a set radius, it'll damage the player. Now, the only thing we really had to add to the enemy was an energy blast. So I asked ChatGPT to code me an energy blast attack for the enemy. ChatGPT provided me with instructions on how to actually create the energy blast, which involved creating a new game object. I was also given a script for the enemy attack, which would allow the enemy to actually create the energy blast. Yeah, this works. Now that we had an enemy with a movement system and an attack system of slams and energy blasts, and we also had a new weapon, it was time to add our final update, the new biome. I asked ChatGPT for an idea for a new Minecraft biome, 
and here's what ChatGPT suggested. The volcanic biome. Pretty straightforward. Volcanoes and obsidian fields. Now, ChatGPT actually gave me heaps of new ideas for this biome, but let's just stick with the volcanoes and obsidian fields. Making the obsidian field was pretty easy. I just changed our grass texture to obsidian. Now, for the volcano, I went back to my chunk generation script and asked ChatGPT to add volcano generation and we received this script. Now, here's our volcanoes in game. Yeah, I think it was pretty difficult to code a volcano generation system, but I guess this works. So there we go. There's our ChatGPT Minecraft update. We have a new enemy, a new weapon, and a new biome. Anyway, that's gonna do it for our Minecraft update. Real quick, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna check out more of my content, whether it's my videos, games, or my Patreon, you can visit my website over at badgamedev.fun. Also, thanks again to Charmed for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you wanna try Charmed for free, you can do so with my link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel. Peace.